Hello, I'm Viral Shah, and I'm going to talk about accelerating modeling and simulation with the Julia language and all the cool stuff that we are doing that would be of interest to the attendees of this Modelica conference. After, after my talk, please join us for our breakout session on Zoom at bit.ly slash modelica20 or email me at viral at juliacomputing.com. Over the last 25 years, there have been many different languages that engineers like to program in, uh, but then they often have to rewrite their uh, simulations in C++ uh, in order to get performance. For example, engineers like writing in MATLAB, Python, or R, and then offer to translate their codes to C++, and Julia solves this two language problem. While in general, Julia has been successful uh, for a large number of uh, such codes, the question is, can this be translated to modeling and simulation? And that's the topic of uh, my sponsor talk. Julia has had rapid adoption for a young language, 20 million downloads, 4,000 packages, 10,000 companies, and over 1,500 universities. It's now rated at number 19 on the IEEE Spectrum language rankings and has been featured in the Nature magazine. Tons of companies and users use Julia around the world, but Julia Computing was really founded by all the creators of the Julia language in order to provide the best Julia-based products and services to all our customers, to all our users and the larger open source community. Some of our case studies, especially in areas of engineering, um, have been uh, you know, uh, in, in collaboration with the Lincoln Labs at, and, and the FAA for uh, designing avionic systems for uh, airborne collision avoidance systems uh, with Invenia for optimizing the electric grid and uh, Zipline uh, gave an amazing presentation at JuliaCon a couple of years ago about how they use Julia to design their drones for the emergency medical uh, drone delivery service. Now, everyone is thinking about machine learning and how it impacts us uh, and, and our domains, especially in modeling and simulation, machine learning has a key role to play and Julia is at the forefront of machine learning. Here are some tweets from Jeff Dean at Google and Jeremy Howard, who's the co-author of the fast.ai courses. They both believe that Julia is the language of the future for AI and machine learning. Now, where do these opportunities in modeling and simulation show up? So typically you have your computational science where you, know, you have your inputs uh, that feed into a physical model and give you an output. However, you have machine learning uh, where, you, know, where you, you may have a neural network which is often data driven and assumes no prior knowledge of the physics. Um, and, and is yet sort of able to model uh, some, some, some physical quantity of interest. Now, there are, there are many different ways of combining computational science with machine learning. And uh, the one that we like is incorporating the machine learning deeply in the guts of the physical model so that you can get the benefit of both the worlds, the knowledge of the physics as well as that of your uh, you know, machine learning. In, in, in such models, you have the neural network coupled with the solver. It requires deep integration of ML methods into the physical model. It needs you to be able to differentiate over the model and neural networks. And then, for example, this, you know, the universal differential equations uh, framework by Chris Rakakis does this fantastically well. A slightly different model, which is more common than many of you might be familiar with, is the physics informed neural networks model, where the neural network and the physical model are, are paired up, but they're not deeply integrated. And this works out very well. Uh, however, we think that integrating uh, the computational and the machine learning codes deeply together leads to many new capabilities, and that's what I will talk about. Some backstory might be interesting here. Uh, this all started at JuliaCon. 2017 with uh, Hilding Emquist, Martin Otter, and Toivo Henningsen presenting Moria at JuliaCon that year. Subsequently, we met Chris Lockman from Merle and uh, discussions over two years led to a proposal to the ARPA-E differentiate program. And the purpose of this uh, proposal was, uh, which, which subsequently got funded, was accelerating HVAC building simulations with neural component architectures. Now I have a lot of detail on my slides coming here. But the key thing is that these simulations, even in the fastest Modelica compiler today, are extremely slow. And we believe that we can achieve two orders of magnitude of speed up by using better solvers, 
by using Julia, by using machine learning to accelerate um, uh, the components in surrogates, and by leveraging hardware. I don't need to introduce a single air conditioner model, but this is the system that I'm going to talk about uh, in order to demonstrate some of our results. Um, these systems are extremely discontinuous and, and have uh, you know, very, uh, very uh, irregular behavior when phase changes happen uh, in the refrigerant, for example. And uh, the same simulation in Daimola when was translated over to Julia turned out to be about 20x faster this is exactly the same uh, computation with the, with the same levels of tolerance. And, and it's amazing to see that this was possible. The way we made this happen was by implementing new uh, solvers. And this is our DISCO DFEQ solver. DISCO stands for discontinuous. And what it's really able to do is, is it's able to sort of resolve these really tiny step sizes and, uh, and deal with irregularities really well. So where a traditional method would sort of, you know, have hundreds of evaluations at that discontinuity at, at 0.5 up there in the BDF method, um, our disco at alpha method is able to take significantly fewer steps, in this case, just one step and handle that irregularity. And this gives you an amazing speed up. And this is some of the innovation that, that we've done as part of our uh, engagement on the differentiate program with arpa -E. Julia has an amazing differential equations ecosystem. The column of all greens demonstrates that Julia is the only language with all these uh, OD solver features available in one place. It has the best in class features when compared to neural OD solvers. Um, and here are some performance uh, demonstrations. Uh, it's, it's in its worst case, it's 31 times faster than other neural OD implementations, but in its best case, it's over 7,600 times faster. So our better solvers give you a huge uh, edge in terms of modeling and simulation. However, when training a surrogate, we can get much more. Our, our goal here is to be able to use a library of pre-trained components, compose larger models with smaller components so that users don't have to be ML experts. We can train models on top of FMUs and produce new FMUs. Training time does not factor into research time and IP does not have to ship uh, with trained surrogates. On, on this HVAC problem, we demonstrated an, a 20x acceleration over the original model using surrogates. And this is, this, is, this, is the, this is the most cutting edge research, is work in progress, but we would love to talk more with many of you guys about how this could be applicable to your problems. All of this is packaged up in, on top of Julia's modeling toolkit, which is an open source stage compiler for expressing mathematical models. Details are available online and, and, and later on. Now we've applied many of these things to, um, to many real life problems uh, as well. Uh, with Pfizer, we achieved 175X speed up in modeling virtual populations. Um, with, uh, our, collab uh, our collaborators at the Carnegie Mellon University have developed Selfit, which uses the same methods to improve their battery models by 20%, which means your electric aircraft are gonna go 20% further. And in order to enable all of this, we have several products that we provide to our users. All of them are GPU enabled. And I especially would like to call out the Julia Hub product, which enables running simulations at scale. It's a SaaS service. It's typically, uh, you know, swipe your credit card, pick the resources you want, pick the models you want to run. In many cases, automatic parallelism is available for the kinds of simulations we are talking about here. And I would like you to reach out to us, connect with us on our Zoom breakout, and also email me at vinyl at juliacomputing.com. Thank you.